Hey, folks, I've been getting several emails from folks who are getting kind of confused on the crossover wiring for their Bale Fang UV5R repeater. Hang on, we're going to do a little demonstration that I'm sure will make it easier for you. Orlando Prepper coming at you again. Hope you're having a great weekend. It's cold here in Florida, so I hope you're warm wherever you are. But in the initial build video on the uh, Bale Fang repeater using the UV5R radios, I really didn't get in depth the way I should have, and it's causing some confusion with the wiring. I've actually talked to people on the phone and walked them through it. So uh, I thought I'd make this video to clear it up for you guys and make it a little easier. Okay, first, right off the bat, the wire that you buy to connect the radios, it has a 3.5 millimeter on one side and a 2.5 millimeter on the other. Going between the radios, you have to cut that and cross those wires over like I did right here. So we're going to do this demonstration to help make that a lot easier for everybody. All right, as you can see here, uh, I've got some larger gauge wire laid out for this demonstration. Uh, the black wire is a little hard to see on this black tabletop, but I'm sure you're going to get it. Now, uh, the wire that you buy, there's a, an Amazon affiliate link below where you can buy the wire that you're going to strip down and make these connections with. you got to make sure if you don't click on that link, the, uh, the wire you buy has a three-post connection on each end. That means there's two rings on the end of that. See those two black rings? I don't know if that's coming in or not. But that's a three-post connection on both ends. 3.5 millimeter on one, 2.5 millimeter on the other. And as you can see right here below, I have uh, the little cards here indicating which radio is which, which connection goes to which radio. The 2.5 millimeter goes to the receiver. The 3.5 millimeter end goes to the transmitting radio. But when you get this wire and it has that coating on it, you have to cut that coating off and get inside. And when you get in there, you're going to find three wires, red, black, and white. I have talked to people that said there is no black wire. There's a yellow wire or a green wire. But in this demonstration, uh, if, if you don't have a black wire in yours, you got say you have a yellow wire, like the guy I talked to the other night, then you know that yellow wire will represent what the black wire is or should be. But if you buy the one linked below, it'll have red, black, and white in it. So let me show you how to connect these. It's very, very easy. Uh, you just got to be careful because you're working with small wires. Once you get inside that coating, those wires are really small. But what we're going to do, just a simple crossover. We're going to take the black wire off the 2.5 millimeter and hook it to the red connecting to the 3.5 millimeter. Then we're going to take the red wire from the 2.5 over to the 3.5. It's that simple. That is very, very simple. It's that simple, guys. Now that white wire you have in there, which I think in the initial video I said you don't have to worry about, well, that was wrong. Uh, you do have to connect it. But all you want to do is cross that over as well. Take the white wire off the receiving radio, connect it to the black and red on the transmitting radio. From the transmitting radio, you connect that to the black and red on the receiving video. It's that simple. All three wires are connected. You're just crossing them over. We'll go over that one more time just to make sure you got it, guys. All right? Not that difficult, but we're going to do it again just in case. Receiving radio, red, 
to transmitting radio black, receiving radio black, to transmitting radio red, receiving radio white, to transmitting radio red, transmitting radio white, to receiving radio red. It's that simple. You have one connection with all three wires. There you go. It's that easy, folks. I know if you're not used to working with electronics, it gets complicated. It was for me initially because I never worked a lot with, you know, wiring and stuff. But I buckled down, I learned, and that's, that's the only way you're going to be able to, to finally figure these things out, guys, is try them out. Hopefully that made it easy. And when you get done with your wire, it's all connected together. It's good and strong. You can just pop it in your radios like on the demonstration. And you're ready to rock. Do that programming. Uh, if you have any questions, any questions about this uh, project, shoot me an email. TheOrlandoPrepper at gmail.com. I'll be glad to connect with you. We'll get it worked out and make sure your repeater works. So with that, I'm going to say stay strong, keep prepping, and pray for the United States. The Orlando Prepper is out.